Your morning begins with a decision. Do you hit that alarm snooze button and get an extra 9 to 10 minutes of sleep, or is it time to get out of bed and get your day moving? And it doesn't stop there. Your day continues to be full of these decisions, which make up this thing called life. Where you go, who you're interacting with, and what you do is all based off of decisions. And guess what? Even the simplest ones can be tough to make. So why the heck is a decision as simple as breakfast so difficult to make? Why do I get caught up between toast, eggs, or maybe some cereal? All of them are good options. I know I need to eat, but the fact that there are too many options gets in my way and I end up choosing none of the above. I will not just have coffee. Where'd that toast guy go? What are you doing down there? Whatever. I've struggled with indecision my entire life. The inner optimist in me tries to see the good in every situation, but then everything kind of looks like a good idea. I used to try and force my decisions to become a more decisive person, but that didn't work. So instead of making decisions more decisively, I decided to make the ultimate decision and decide less. About a year and a half ago, I watched a video by Matt Diavella. He's a minimalist, and he was talking about the benefits of a simple wardrobe. Now, he wears the same thing every day. Same color t-shirt, same type of jeans, and for many of you out there who are a little bit more fashion forward, that may seem pretty boring. But for me, I thought it was pretty slick. Plus, if my boy Mickey Mouse can do it every day and not catch a ton of flack, I probably could too, because people don't pay nearly as much attention to me. I decided to try what Matt was suggesting and minimize my decision making by shrinking my wardrobe. I mean, we all have our favorite outfits. It could be maybe your favorite shirt, favorite pair of pants. Some people may be into hats, or maybe, like me, favorite pair of underwear. Ah! So when all these clothes are clean and in our bureaus and we get to wear them, it's exciting. But on the flip side, let's say my favorite flannel shirt isn't available to me because it's dirty and I haven't washed it yet, it's a major bummer. So what if I wore my favorite t-shirt every single day? Would it get old? Would people judge me for wearing the same clothes over and over again? Would it be more stressful than my current getting ready process with all of this stuff? Well, we're about to find out. Wait, 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 not me. I'm the main guy telling this story here. Plus, I forgot my coffee up here. What, you guys thought that during that first scene when I walked into the closet and I had my coffee and then from then on out I didn't have my coffee was just a major discontinuity in the storyline that I overlooked and didn't think about? <sighs> I wouldn't be that careless. The first step was deciding on a look and a budget. To try this, I knew I was going to have to spend a little bit of money, but I didn't want to go nuts. I wanted something clean, simple, and without any major brands or logos. I find them a little distracting. I found the manufacturer of my favorite shirt and realized they sell blank shirts for screen printing and vinyl work. These types of shirts are usually great quality, have bulk pricing, and I already knew I liked the feel. I ordered a handful of different colored t-shirts, tried them all on, and decided on one color to make my look. Six months later, here I am. I have about 10 green shirts. I wear them every day, except for going to work. I have to wear work attire. And I haven't found it boring, limiting, and honestly, if I didn't tell my friends, I don't think they would have noticed. Now, this has not made me any more decisive than I was before I started doing this. I just have less decisions to make. And to Emmy's disappointment, I still can't pick out what I want to eat and I stare at the fridge for unreasonable amounts of time. I have found that my getting ready 
routine in the morning takes a lot less time. I can also fit about 90% of my wardrobe into a single dresser drawer, and that makes me really happy. All right, I know what you're thinking. Doug, this is great if you want to wear green t-shirts for the rest of your life and have no sense of style whatsoever, but for pretty much everybody else out there, it's not going to be the best idea to only pare down to one outfit. And to that, I say you're probably right. But as with everything in life, you can apply concepts in varying degrees to your liking. There are plenty of different ways to consolidate your wardrobe into something that's more compact and only the things you really love without getting rid of all your clothes and only wearing green tees. If you're going to look for more information, there's two things that I would search. One, capsule wardrobes. There are so many videos out there on capsule wardrobes. Or if you were to look for a challenge, I love doing challenges. There's a Project 333, which is where you only use 33 articles of clothing, not including undergarments and socks. That just wouldn't be fair, but only use 33 articles of clothing for three months. You pick ones that you love, pick ones that will all match with each other, and I think you'd surprise yourself with how much you really don't use in your wardrobe. All that being said, if you enjoyed any of this, please leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're going to try any of these challenges or try and pare down your wardrobe, or heck, I've considered turning myself into a bit of a cartoon character. What color shirt? should I wear next? Because this has been six, seven months or so. I think it's almost time to go to a new color and change things up a bit. I know, wild. Thank you for watching. If you've gotten this far, please take two seconds to hit the like button if you enjoyed any bit of this video. If you didn't like the video, feel free to hit the thumbs down button twice. After that, hit that subscribe button. If you've enjoyed any of the videos I've made over the past few weeks and you're not subscribed already, well, that just bums me out. Hit that button, it takes two seconds, and I'm not gonna spam you with useless junk. Unless you think all the videos I've made so far are useless junk. Then you're gonna get a lot more of that. Thanks again for watching. I hope y'all are staying safe, and I will see you in the next one. Really gross. <laughs> There's a plate right there you can spit it out on. Okay, there we go.